What's going on, guys? It's New York Prepper here. It is Saturday, April 17th, 2021, and I have another breaking news alert to share with you guys on the situation in Ukraine. And what you're looking at here is some video footage of a Russian military convoy traveling through a town in eastern Ukraine, specifically in the Donetsk area. This is in the town of Horlivka, which is right outside of Donetsk. And this was uploaded to Twitter just earlier today. Okay, this is on one of the Twitter accounts that I follow. And so um, this is right outside of Donetsk in the Donetsk People's Republic, which is a Russian separatist controlled area. Um, this is an area where there was heavy fighting in the last few years between uh, Ukraine and the Russian separatists. So we now have some video footage coming out of eastern Ukraine in the Donetsk area of Russian military vehicles and a Russian military convoy traveling through Horlivka. And I'm going to show you guys the location of this little town here. This is Horlivka. If you look at the map here, it's right outside of Donetsk and it's right in between Donetsk and Luhansk. And so just zooming out, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see further where it is in relation to Ukraine. So um, here we have Kiev. And so it's down right next to Donetsk, right outside of Donetsk. All right. And again, this is coming from Twitter. Um, so again, guys, the Russian military would not be deploying tanks into eastern Ukraine if they weren't expecting uh, something to go down or if they weren't expecting to try to annex eastern Ukraine. Okay, my opinion, this is just my opinion. I think that if this Twitter video is true and it's authentic, this is the Russian military preparing to annex the Donetsk area and eastern Ukraine, specifically Donetsk and Luhansk. They're putting their tanks over there and they're getting ready to annex it and make it a part of Russia officially. All right. So I want to just play this video for you. Uh, I also have some video footage of some S-400 anti-air uh, missile systems being deployed into uh, Krasnodar, Russia, which is right on the border of Ukraine. And I have some other videos as well to share with you of Russian military equipment being moved around uh, close to the border of Ukraine. So, you know, this deployment of Russian troops and Russian military equipment is not slowing down. Uh, the Russians are continuing to reinforce their positions. And here we have the first video footage of Russian tanks inside of eastern Ukraine. Um, my guess is they're going to try to annex. Donetsk. And I think when Putin gives his speech in a couple of days, I think that he's going to say that he wants to annex those those areas. But we have to wait and see what he says. So I'm going to play this uh, video for you guys and we'll analyze it together. So here you can see some tanks over here. Um, here's a uh, truck, some kind of a truck. OK, just a basic military truck. Looks like there's some troops in the back. We look back here. Uh, let me see if I can pause it. You can see there's some troops in the back. You can see one of them smoking a cigarette. Uh, cigarettes are very popular in Russia and in uh, Eastern Europe. Here's another uh, truck filled with troops. Okay. Uh, there's another truck. Okay. And so this just looks like a woman walking down the street and she decided to film with her uh, cell phone. So uh, to me, this looks authentic. I mean, you can see how bad the sidewalk looks. Um, you see all the, the sidewalk is in disrepair and the road has potholes and it just looks very unkempt over here. And that tells me that this is in the Donetsk area. Uh, typically, this is what a war-torn area would look like because you don't have the uh, infrastructure to fix potholes and to repair sidewalks because they're in a state of war. So this looks pretty authentic to me. There's two tanks right here. Uh, let's go back and look at these tanks. All right. So you got two tanks right here. All right. And, uh, 
then we have some military trucks behind. Okay. So, um, you know, this is a serious situation, guys. This is only two tanks. But, you know, this is just one video. So there could be many other tanks that are already pouring in to the Donetsk area. And now I want to show you guys a video of some S-400s moving in the Krasnodarsk area or Krasnodar area of Russia. Okay, this is another video that was posted to Twitter. And here you can see the tubes where the um, anti-air missiles are launched from. Okay, this is a missile defense system developed by the Russians, the S-400 missile system or anti-aircraft and anti-ballistic missile system. It can intercept pretty much anything, uh, jets, missiles. Um, I mean, it's a very advanced system. It's very comparable to our terminal high altitude area defense that we have deployed in South Korea. Although many people say it's a little bit better than that. Uh, you know, it's a little more uh, capable and it has longer range. It can intercept missiles from an extremely long distance and it can also intercept missiles at an extremely high altitude as well. Um, so this is a very advanced uh, system here. Okay, you can see these big tubes here which store the anti-ballistic uh, missiles. Okay, so here we have two trucks, two S-400 trucks being escorted by uh, Russian police. And again, this is somewhere in Krasnodar, which is uh, southwestern Russia. Okay, that's right near Crimea. And interestingly, I did a video just before about a U.S. RQ-4 Global Hawk that was flying around in this area. So is it possible that the American military is concerned about some deployments in the Krasnodar area and that's why they sent the RQ-4 in that area? I just find it interesting that we have S-400s going to Krasnodar and also the American uh, Global Hawk flying in that area as well. All right, so this is a serious deployment, guys. The Russians don't deploy uh, tanks into eastern Ukraine and S-400s close to Ukraine if they weren't anticipating some kind of a kinetic action. Um, here we have some more video footage uh, coming out of uh, the Krasnodar area. Again, this is a really large military convoy passing through Krasnodar. Um, here you can see some trucks. All right, let's uh, watch this video here. We have some more military trucks on the left over here. And looks like armored personnel carriers. Let's see if I can... Uh, here's another truck. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit for you guys. Let's see here. Here we have another truck. Here's another line of trucks here coming. Okay, more military trucks. Um, and you can see in the beginning all these um, armored vehicles here. Okay, this is what's really interesting are these, these, armored, these armored vehicles in the beginning here. Okay, this one right here. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Russian military equipment, but this is comparable to an American um, uh, armored personnel carrier. It looks like it has a maybe a 20 or 30, 30 millimeter gun on top. Um, so it's, uh, it's a, a lot of equipment here, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five of them just in this one particular video alone. All right. And this is the Krasnodar area. Moving on, we have more video footage of, uh, Russian armored personnel carriers also in Krasnodar. Okay. Pretty big convoy here, guys. Look at these armored vehicles moving into southwestern Russia here. Okay, Krasnodar. That's a lot of vehicles, guys. I already counted over 10 vehicles here. 
And that's just in this one video, all right? Uh, pretty serious movement here, just in this one video alone. So let's count these vehicles together. Okay, so here we got one, two, three, four, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten vehicles, guys, eleven, all right, eleven armored personnel carriers just in this one video alone in the Krasnodar area, and then finally we have some more footage here, uh, this is from a, an unspecified location somewhere in uh, Russia close to the Ukraine border. You can see all these trucks here. I mean, these are just multiple, multiple trucks here, armored vehicles. All right. Um, look at all these vehicles, guys. Here we got some, looks like some kind of uh, Russian equivalent to an MRAP. Okay. There's a lot of vehicles here, guys. Um, again, Russia wouldn't be moving this much equipment if uh, they weren't expecting something. So, But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, just wanted to share this um, information with you and this video footage. So again, we have Russian tanks being deployed into Donetsk. We have S-400s being moved around the Krasnodar area. And we continue to see the Russian military building up their forces on the border of Ukraine. So we have to keep an eye on this situation, guys. I'm going to follow it as best as I can and stay tuned to my channel for more updates on the situation. And you can also check out Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. They're also following uh, this situation and they're doing breaking news updates. So you can check their channel out as well. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the four Ps. Pray, prepare, practice, and persevere.